Most of us tend to think that we really know the gadgets and apps we use. But is that the case? Not really. As it is with life, there's always a room for improvement and there's always a better and an easier way of doing things on your laptop or on your PC. Well, that's what I'm going to show you today. There are some simple life pro tips that will make you think how come I did not know about it earlier. Hey guys, I'm Devender from pbomb.com and today I'm going to show you some of the coolest life pro tips that will make your life easy and sorted. So without further ado, let's begin, shall we? If you're like me or 1 billion others, you might be using WhatsApp all the time to stay in touch with your family, friends, etc. However, did you know that you can also use WhatsApp to save links or notes? It's a pretty simple trick. You can just create a group, add a friend and once the group is created, remove the friend. I'm sure he or she won't mind it. Then you have a group with only you as the participant. You can then send links, photos, add notes and more in the group and it will be like your own personal journal. No matter how proud you are of your texting speed and accuracy, it gets very annoying to type the exact same phrase again and again. What if I tell you there's an easy way around? You can create shortcuts for long phrases that you can use time and again. On an iPhone, you can just go to keyboard in settings, here tap on text replacements and then add as many text shortcuts as you want. So, I can create shortcut for my office address with just office, so whenever I type office, it will be automatically replaced with my full office address. On Android, if you are using Gboard, you can go to Gboard settings, here go to dictionary, then personal dictionary and create a hot word for a phrase that you use often. However, it does not automatically change the shortcut to the phrase you have saved, instead it shows you the phrase as a suggestion. So there's that. You can also use TextPand app which lets you create various text replacement shortcuts and works with almost all third-party keyboard apps. Handing over your phone to someone is like giving the key to your privacy. I'm not even exaggerating, especially if you're giving someone access to your photos gallery. If you have to show a photo to someone and want to ensure that the person doesn't start swiping through your other photos, the best way to prevent it to zoom in the photo so even if the person tries to swipe, he won't be able to. It worked in the Google Photos app on Android but it does not work on iPhones. However, on iPhones, you can use guided access to restrict someone to a single photo. First, make sure that guided access is enabled in settings. Then, just open up the photo you want to show and triple click the home button to enable guided access. Then, tap on options and disable touch. Then start guiding access. That's it, guided access will be started and the person will not be able to use touch to swipe at all. You can end guided access by triple clicking on the home button. If you want to use a service for a little while and it demands an email ID but you are hesitant to give your own email ID, you can simply create a temporary one. It will save you from future emails from that service and you will save some time deleting spam. You can use a service like Telesource Mail which lets you create a temporary email address with ease. These email addresses last for an hour, so you can use these email ID to sign up for a service and even verify it. However, I won't recommend you to use these temporary email addresses for any social networks as the inbox of these temporary email addresses can be accessed by anyone. If you are in a different city and you don't understand their regional language then it's better to have an app that can translate things for you. Not just the phrases but also the texts on the signboards or billboards. Well, the Google Translate app does this and it's very handy. You can just tap on the camera icon on the app, point to the text you want to translate and that's it. The app will now show you the translated text in your preferred language 
and it surely works like a charm. I often forget things and mostly the important ones and I'm sure I'm not the only one facing this. Though you can always note it down somewhere and then forget where you noted it or you could use the Google Assistant. Well, Google Assistant can save you from this dominoes of forgetting things. You can just trigger Google Assistant and say, remember that the house keys are in my bag. Okay, I'll remember that. You can then ask Google, where are my keys? And the assistant will bring you the info. Here's what you've told me. The 14th of April 2017, remember that the house keys are in my bag. If you want the assistant to forget, you can just say forget that. Okay, I won't mention it again if you don't. Sadly, Siri does not support this feature. Now this one's very useful. You must be aware of the fact that you can add multiple fingers to unlock your phone with the fingerprint sensor. However, you must have noticed that the fingerprint sensor's accuracy isn't always great. In that case, you can save the fingerprints of the same finger twice or maybe thrice. When you do this, the sensor scans your fingerprint faster and more accurately. Some devices does not let you save multiple fingerprints of the same finger. But try it yourself and let me know. When you copy any text from a website to paste it in a document, there are some weird formatting that comes from the original text. Now, if you go ahead and clear the formatting one by one, it's gonna take a long, long time. Thankfully, this simple trick can save you from the hassle of removing the formatting of copied text. You can just copy the text like you normally would, and then when you're pasting it, just use Ctrl plus Shift plus V instead of Ctrl V. Or, if you're a Mac user, use Command Shift V. This will make sure that all the formatting from the website will be removed and you will see the text in plain format. So that was all guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button as if you're going to break it. Do let me know your favorite life pro tip in the comments down below. Also, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and I'll see you later.